हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट क्लास सेवन एन सी आर टी चैप्टर नंबर थ्री डाटा हैंडलिंग नाउ इन दिस चैप्टर हेडिंग देर आर टू वर्ड्स फर्स्ट इज डाटा एंड सेकेंड इज हैंडलिंग नाउ व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय अ डाटा डाटा इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल फिगर्स ऑब्जर्वेशन गिविंग अस सम a particular type of information now what do you mean by handling handling mean is to handle the data in such a way that it gives us information now let's understand data first now what do you mean by data data meaning a collection of numerical figures giving some particular type of information is called data now data meaning is some collection of numerical figures or observations that give us particular type of information now let's take some examples for example the marks obtained by 10 pupils in the class test out of 50 are 42 and 37 now in this a uh, question which has been uh, given here it has been told the marks obtained by 10 students in a class test out of 50 now we call it the data related to the marks obtained by 10 students in the class test by this means we collect raw data to form data handling to get some information let's understand about raw data raw data meaning is that data obtained in the original form is called the raw data now data given in the above examples is a raw data now, observation meaning is each numerical figure in the data is called an observation now a numerical observation forms the raw data our next topic is frequency what is the meaning of frequency it is the number of times a particular observation occurs is called its frequency now let's uh, this meaning is that the frequency of a particular data a uh, data value which occurs a number of times now for example if four students have scored 80 in mathematics and then the score of 80 is said to be have a frequency of four Next topic is tally marks now what does it mean it means tally marks are defined in a unitary numeral system it is a form of numeral used for counting now the general way of writing tally marks is as a group of set of five lines the first four lines are drawn vertically and each of them fifth line runs diagonally over the previous four vertical lines from the top of the first line to the bottom of the fourth line now let's take some example as you can see in this screen how numbers are represented by tally marks solve an example which is given below is the data showing the number of children in 20 families of the locality so data is being given in your screen and the question is telling that arrange the data in ascending order and then prepare a frequency table basically in this data there is 1 2 3 4 uh, from 0 to 4 the numbers are given and we have to arrange it in ascending order first so 0 is occurring only one time and uh, one uh, one two three four four time is occurring two three and four times now two uh, one two three four five six seven so seven times two is occurring four five six seven now three to so one two three four five ha huh. three is occurring six times so one two three four five and 6 now 4 is occurring two times now so 1 and 2 now we have to prepare a frequency table now number of children now you have to write a, we have to do three columns which is first column is number of children second is tally marks and third is number of families frequency which is the frequency now number of children number of children is 1 2 3 4 4 Which is zero is also there. Now, zero, one, two, three, and four. Which is the number of children in the data given? Now, number of the families, which is the frequency. Now, how much zero is occurring in this order? Which is one time only. So, one we will write. Now, one is occurring how many times? One, two, three, four. Four times it is occurring. 
Now two. Two is occurring one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven times. Now three is occurring one, two, three, four, five, six, six times, and four is occurring two times. Now we will write tally marks as we have read what is tally marks. So we will write accordingly. So one tally marks is just one line. Four tally marks is four lines. Now seven tally marks. So one, two, three, four. Five and six, seven. Six tally marks is one, two, three, four, five and six. Two tally marks is two lines. So this means that the ascending order is this, and the, we have prepared a frequency table also. So in this question, we have understood how tally marks are represented and how frequency of observation is written in the. Our question. next topic is statistics. Now, what does it mean? It means it is a subject that deals with collection, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of numerical data. So to analysis it, we use range, mean. median and mode let's understand range ranges the difference between the highest and the lowest observation is called range now let's take some examples so the question is the ages in years of 10 teachers of the school are 32 41 28 54 35 26 23 33 38 33, 33, 33, and 40 and we have to find that what is the range of the ages of the teachers so we will write range of the teachers age is equals to we know what is the formula it is highest minus lowest now if we see the table it has been given the highest we will see it is 54 and the lowest uh, and the lowest is 23 now we will subtract it to get the range Is equal to now four minus three is one and five minus two is three. So we got thirty one years, which is the range of the teachers. Let's discuss about mean. So mean is basically sum of the given observations divided by number of given observations. Now let's take some examples to understand it more deeply. Let's take one example, which is a batsman scored the four following numbers of runs in six innings, which is thirty six, thirty five, fifty, forty six, sixty, and fifty five. Calculate the mean run scored by him in an inning. Let's solve. Let's calculate the mean. Above observation. Let's calculate the mean. So mean is equals to the formula is sum of the total runs divided by number of innings according to the question. So now we will write sum of total runs. So how much was there? It was thirty six plus thirty five plus fifty plus forty six plus sixty. And plus fifty five, and according to the question, it has been told that the number of inning was six. Is the question now? Thirty six plus thirty five is seventy one. Seventy one plus fifty is one two one, and one two one plus forty six is one sixty seven. One sixty seven plus sixty is two two seven, and two two seven plus fifty five is two eighty two. Divided by six. Is equals to now we we know that in six table two eighty two comes six minus six six four zero twenty eight down came two twelve and seven zero so forty seven so this means that the mean run scored in an inning was forty six median meaning is after arranging the given data in ascending or descending order of magnitude the value of the middle most observation is called the median of the data this means that if we arrange the data in ascending or descending order the middle most observation would be the median of the data Find the median of the data. Data is twenty four, thirty six, forty six, seventeen, eighteen, twenty five, and thirty five. And it has been told that we have to find the median. So to find that median, we will do the middle most observation. So first of all, we will do the ascending order, and then we will find the middle most. So the first is smallest is seventeen, and then it is eighteen. And uh, then it is twenty four, 
and uh, then it is 25 and then it is 35 and uh, then it is 36 and then it is 46 so we have arranged the uh, data in ascending order now there is seven observations this means three will go there and three will go there so this means the middlemost came 25 so this means that median is equal next to next topic is mode now what does mode mean the mode of the set observation is the observation that occurs most often this means that the observation which is most frequent is is the mode of the data now let's take some examples to understand it more deeply so example is find the mode of the given set of numbers which is 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, 4. So to find the mode of the data which has been told to find we have to first arrange the given data into ascending order and then we will find it that the most highest frequently number coming is the mode of the data. So now first we will arrange the numbers with the same value together. So the smallest is 1, then 1, and 1 is occurring 3 times, then uh, 2, 2, and 2, and 2. 2 is occurring 4 times, and then 3 is occurring only 1 time, and uh, 4 is occurring 2 times. Now here we can see that 1 is occurring 3 times. 2 is occurring 4 times, 3 is occurring 1 time, 4 is occurring 2 times. And here we can see 2 is occurring the most frequently which is the 4. Now this means that the mode of this data would be 